So my mom just got a brand new SUV and today we're gonna be taking a look at it inside and out, but no more wasting your time, let's just get on with the reveal. All right, so here is the car. You can see we have it in this bright red color. Now there's so much to look at. Let's just start off with my favorite part, the rims. So these things are huge. They're these black rims with these silver details, as you can see, and I just think they look amazing. Now, another cool thing about this car, let's move over to the front and we're gonna unlock it. Notice how this thing's about to light up up here. Let's just take a look at it. So I've got the key in my hand. We're gonna unlock it and look at this light effect it does. This thing looks amazing when it does that. And I love how this badge lights up right here. That is so sick. The front end also is one of my favorite parts about the car. I love the rims in the front end the most. Look at how aggressive the grill looks. How good these lights up front look. Everything about it looks amazing. You can see right here, we have some airflow that goes over to the tires to allow them to cool off when driving. Along the side here, you can see we have the Nautilus badge. So that's the name of the car, the Lincoln Nautilus. And now that we're over here near the door, we may as well move on to the inside. So on the inside, you can see it lights up just like that, and it says Nautilus there, that's super cool. And then it shows the Lincoln logo on the screen. Now let's hop in the car and take a look at some of the stuff in here. So you can see right here, this is where you switch all the drive modes in the car. Then there's a few other settings here, not too sure what they do. Then there's this very cool looking volume switch right here that's like crystal, it's very cool looking. Something to charge your phone with right here, let me show you that it works. All right, so we got my phone, we're gonna pop it on in here, and then it should start to charge. Oh wait, the car's not on, so it won't work right now, but when the car is on, it would charge. Then you can see we have two cup holders here and a bit of storage and some phone charging ports. Now here on the steering wheel, we don't have many buttons. I'm not too sure what these things do. I think they might be buttons though, but right here you can see this is the start stop button. That's where you start your car. And of course on this screen, when the car is on, it'll show you all your navigation stuff and more. Um, and by the way, I don't know if you guys can see right here, there's these black panels and these things will actually light up. Let me go ahead and try to make them light up. Okay, so right here you can see I'm getting them to light up right now. Look at how cool that looks when they light up. That is one of the coolest things I've seen. Now also on the door panel you can see we have your speaker system, lock and unlock, window controls, that's where you open the door from, more speakers, and some storage space. Now for the rear seats, you have the controls such as the seat heaters and also AC controls as you can see. Then you can see right here, we have the front seat and there's a bit of storage space right there for the people in the back seats. And then the doors work basically the same as the doors in the front seat. And let's go ahead and move on to the seat design. So the design of these seats are black leather, but you can see there is a bit of suede on them right here with this light brown stitching. It looks very nice inside here. And I believe these seats are all heated and cooled seats. Now overall, the side profile of this car is amazing looking. I mean, the rims combined with the shape of the car and that black roof on the red paint just looks amazing. But let's go ahead and take a look at how the rear end looks. Okay, so the rear end's another amazing angle of this car. You can see we have this huge light for when you hit on the brakes. And then if we go down here, we can see it's a very clean looking bottom. You can barely notice the exhaust unless you get really down low here, and then you will be able to see it sort of. Okay, so the engine on this car is a turbocharged four cylinder with two hybrid motors. You can see all the engine stuff in here. I'm not gonna bother trying to figure out what all of it is, but just if you were curious, that's what's all in here. Okay, so when you're driving in the car, there's tons to see. We can start off with the ambient lighting over here. You can see we have it glowing a reddish color right now. Then we move on to the dashboard. We can see it displays the time right there. We have this cool pattern on the background. And then you can see what song you're listening to. Then there's a map over there. Um, and then right there, you can see the speed of your car and your car there. That's super cool looking. Then we can see drive modes over here, uh, ambient lighting controls, um, traction control, digital scent. I don't know what the heck that means, but that's interesting. Valet mode, vehicle status, and settings. And then there's tons more options on this screen. Overall, it's a really cool interior and the technology is amazing. Okay, right now we're gonna do the zero to 60. Let's go ahead and go. Let's see how fast the car does it in. And it looks like it's gonna be 8.23 seconds. That is not very impressive, but it is an SUV. 
So yeah, that's my mom's brand new 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. It's her new SUV, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would truly appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribe. Also, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.